Today is Wednesday, February 21st, 2024. With Pastor Chris teaching, our theme for today's article is He came to us in the Holy Spirit. Our opening scripture is taken from John 14, verse 3, and it says, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Hallelujah. Many still grapple with what the Lord Jesus meant in the verse above when he said, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Some think he was referring to the second coming or the rapture, but that's not what he was talking about in that verse. To understand what Jesus meant, you'll have to stay in the context and understand his message with your spirit, not with your senses. When you study the full chapter, you'd observe that he continued the same interesting discourse till he got to the 16th verse where he said, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. The term another comforter is the Greek phrase alus paracletus, meaning another of the same kind. Hallelujah. Jesus introduced the Holy Spirit at that point. Then he said in John 14 verse 17, Ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. Wow! How did the Holy Spirit dwell with them at that time? Wasn't he supposed to come on the day of Pentecost? Oh, that tells us something. He wasn't talking about the Holy Spirit alone. He was also referring to himself. To drive that point home, he went back to what he said in our theme verse. I will come again and receive you unto myself. Then in verse 18 he said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. How and when would he come to them? In the 20th verse he said, At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me and I in you. What day was he talking about? Evidently, he was talking about the day when the Holy Spirit comes. So, when he said, I will come to you, he meant, I'll come to you in the Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. And thanks be unto God, on the day of Pentecost, he fulfilled that precious promise. Praise God. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. That we can find in Acts 2 verse 4. So, Pastor says, now in conclusion, he's in you today in all his fullness. Praise God. Oh, dear Father, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, Thank you, blessed Heavenly Father, for the fullness of the Spirit in me and the glory and excellence of my life as a result of your indwelling presence by the Holy Spirit. My faith is strengthened and stirred to do the will of God and fulfill God's purpose for my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, please read John 14, 15 to 20. Then John 14, verse 23 says, Jesus answered and said to them, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Glory to God, saints. Evidently, the Christ in us, the hope of all glory, is that comforter, that helper, that intercessor, that advocate, that strengthener, and that standby in us. We believe, and now our hearts walk in sync with you, Lord, by your Spirit. You are walking in us, both to will and to do of your good pleasure. For you created us for your pleasure. 
Hallelujah. Thank God for this privilege. All right, for further details, 